Welcome to automation. You guys have been asking me to play this game for years. I am not even joking. I actually purchased this game on Steam over a year ago and I never played it. As this is my first time ever playing this game, go easy on me. Today, we are gonna design our very own car from scratch, import it to Beam NG Drive, and give it a go in the real world. And if you've never seen automation before, you can literally build anything. Why don't we set off with a goal for our very first time? Try to build the perfect car for me. So in automation, you basically start off with like a body like this, and then everything else is up to you. I think I gotta go with this one. For those of you who don't know, this is like a Celine S5S Raptor, one of my favorite cars. You can literally take this and turn it into whatever you want. Panel, you can build it out of steel. You can build it out of fiberglass, aluminum, or carbon fiber. Look at that. Chassis type, you've got ladder, monocoque, space frame, light truck. There, there are so many options. I think if we're gonna do this properly though, we need to follow two of my favorite things with cars. One, hell a lot of grip, and two, as lightweight as possible, which is gonna mean we're gonna need carbon fiber pretty much every. We've got push rod suspension in the front and the rear of this thing. That is the same suspension that they use on F1 cars. Well, now that we've got the basic framework of the vehicle done, we've got to come in here and build an engine. But again, you've got all sorts of different options, whether it be an inline, a V60 degree, V90 degree, or a boxer engine. You can go in and build a V16 engine. Like, <laughs> what? If we want to try to keep this in the realm of possibility, right? Why don't we go in with the intention of uh, just a little V6, right? Somebody asked, do you even know what you're doing? Absolutely no idea. I'm just figuring it out and I'm pressing buttons and I'm we're gonna see what happens, okay? If I get an intercooler that's that big, I can get 12,000 horsepower. <laughs> we can even customize our exhaust as well. So we can go catalytic converter. We can toss one of them on. We will go with none. We may or may not give everybody cancer as we drive past them, but I'd surprise they're willing to pay. Uh, first muffler, none. Second muffler, none. We don't... 140 horsepower! Suddenly, we toss a boxer engine in, and we're up to 435 horsepower. There we go. So VVL, kind of, kind of VTEC, right? If I crank this, look at my VTEC at 9,000 RPM. I don't know if it's even gonna work, but I, I guess we'll see. Automatic testing. Start it up. Let's go. 800 foot-pounds of torque. Sounds goddamn amazing. Okay, I think my engine does explode when it's at about 7,000 RPM. Our RPM is 6,900. I think we've nailed it. So we will be able to toss our engine into the back of our not at all a Celine S5S. I guess, I guess now we're done with the engine. Now it's time to work on the actual design of this car. The thing that everybody's gonna be seen. The most important part. I'm sorry, for my first car in this game, it's 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 gotta be Blue Crew Blue, I'm sorry. Our paint is finished, and now we get to do our actual design process. Like, putting in headlights, for example. Yo, once you click on them, there's so many different more versions of them in there, and then you can change the size, the rotation. Jeez. We come to the back of the vehicle. Tail lights it is. Yo, full on rip off Dodge Charger. Hello. Yo, boys, who would have ever guessed that designing a car was more difficult than I originally thought? What? Oh, uh, yo, we've got indicator. Well, I do like BMW, so uh, we're just going to skip past those. Big old grills for the front of this thing. What type of mouth do we want this to have? Oh, hey, look, I made the Nissan 400Z. I kind of like the idea of something like this. 
a whole like unique front end on the thing. I'm just I'm just sticking bits on the car. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. I want an engine cover. Let's go with that. I think that looks pretty cool. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hood scoops. No way. <laughs> Wait. Roof scoop. 200 IQ play. Yo, look at that. I've, I've got a legitimate roof scoop. That is so cool. The options in this game are unbelievable. Boys, I I if you ignore the rear of this car, the front looks fantastic. After that, we need a front lip and stuff. No way. Yo, speedy boy, what's up? That's sick. That's not making it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I got to admit the rear wings in this game aren't very good, but that's something that modding could fix 100%. So we, we shouldn't really dwell on that. For the moment, though, I'm just going to go with like a whatever wing and that'll that'll be fine. You kind of understand what I'm going for. There's nothing that insane. All right. After that, we've got door handles. No way. So we've got like, uh, yo, Tesla door handles. Hello. But how does that look? Just a just a normal regular door handle on there. I think yeah, it tosses it onto both sides for us. That's fantastic. Wing mirror type. Like if you've ever played a game and gone, this game doesn't have enough customization. Try 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 this one. So after all of that stuff, we now come to the rims. Look at these options. Oh Oh my god, those are so cool. What else do I have to do? <gasps> All wheel driver, rear wheel drive. Dual clutch gearbox that apparently maxes out at 260 miles an hour. Top speed in first gear, 45, then 64, then 92. That, that's perfectly fine for me. Tire choice, chunky off road, hard slicks, semi slicks, thank you. Yo, we've even got wheel spacers in this game, boys. You love to see it. That looks so cool. I assume I can do the brakes. I don't see any brakes in. Yes! Carbon ceramics, six piston brakes, 420 millimeter. Yo, we can change our camber and everything in the front and the rear, the ride height. Slam it right to the ground. You know what we're gonna do. So I can save the file. Thank you very much. And then I can export it to Beam NG Drive. There it is. That's my car. I'm just gonna say. For our first build ever in this game. That's pretty cool. Just don't look at the back, okay? The back's, the back's uh, not a good looking guy. It's a great vehicle with no obvious flaws. I think I blew it up. Yo, what a noise though. What a car. I built this from nothing donuts in my own vehicle that is too cool man i am i am so blown away by this game both of these games i should be saying this is it's too cool like keep in mind we're rear wheel driving the acceleration out of the corners is crazy fast hold on let's come over here the acceleration is ridiculous what? Absolutely rapid. This vehicle, it, oh shit. Up. Uh, that'll, that'll definitely buff out. That'll de, oh my God. Yo, those sand physics are sick. Looks like the perfect place to go for a little top speed test straight through there. And we open it up. Yo, this is West, West Coast. This map looks sick. Like I said, I haven't played BeamNG Drive in years as well it's amazing to see how far this game has come as well that is so cool we're almost touching 200 miles an hour there we go that is sick uh-oh uh-oh uh help we're about to do an actual drag race in this game it is please don't sue us saline versus a uh, fake janetta oh we're staged we're good we're in oh damn it yes yes suck on that one blue boy we gone absolutely zooming oh my god a 10.1 quarter mile 
No. Yo, he, he actually has a rocket on the side of his bus. Damn it. Yes. Absolutely nailed it. Yes. We're good. We're good. I'm beating the rocket powered bus. Oh my God. Yo, he caught up 164 miles an hour. He crossed the line at. Jeez. Okay. Let's go for one more. One more. Yo, he's got wheelie bars. Okay. Well, I, th I think that's going to be it for this car. I think I have definitely lost. Oh, and a terrible reaction. No. No. Oh my God. He's mega quick. Mega quick. Oh, I completely forgot how cool BeamNG Drive was. Like, seriously, there is nothing else like this. <laughs> like this. Combine the cool factor of BeamNG Drive with automation, and you've got such a cool game on your hands. I don't know what I was waiting for. Why did I wait a year to play this game? I, I have no idea. Was my first time ever playing automation such a cool game